Now coming to investigations, you will find that HP is normal to low depending upon hemolysis and if anemia is there, initially it is normocytic normochromic anemia, later on uh, due to iron deficiency, microcytic hypochromic anemia can develop. Peripheral blood film will show anastocytosis and poikilocytosis. Due to chronic hemolysis, these patients will have reticulocytosis, they can have hemosiderinuria, there will be raised LDH and decreased plasma heptoglobin levels. And investigation of choice is flow cytometry. This is MCQ already asked, old MCQ. It can detect the absence of CD55 and CD59. And fluorescence labeled aerolysin testing has been introduced which can further increase the sensitivity of these tests uh, because it can bind selectively to the GPI anchors. And uh, in all these patients, you will also find reduced levels of acetylcholine as activity in the RBCs and DAF levels. However, flow cytometry to detect the absence of these is the most important diagnostic in investigation. And the older tests like HAM test, sucrose test, RBC lysis test, they are no longer performed.